very warm welcome to Daily Dispatch, a show that gives you all the latest news and updates from the digital ecosystem. I'm Priya Shet. Thank you very much for logging in. Time now to get you all the top news stories that we've been tracking for you this evening. Well, first up, San Francisco-based SaaS startup Chargebee has raised as much as $125 million in a Series G round of funding. This new round of funding will help Chargebee to expand its global footprint and further add to its partnership network. Now, Chargebee is now valued at about $1.4 billion. Well, moving on to the second headline of the day, dating app Truly Madly has raised as much as 16 crore rupees from a clutch of investors in a pre-Series A fund. Now, Truly Madly will be using this new funding to build new product offerings, expand to new geographies and boost its technology by leveraging artificial intelligence as well as machine learning algorithms. Well, Fitifly, a health tech company offering digital therapeutics, has raised as much as $3.1 million in a pre-series A round led by Fireside Ventures. The funds will be used to deliver better patient outcomes at scale, creating awareness and expanding the company's reach. Well, moving on to the final headline of the day, feminine hygiene products brand Serona Hygiene has raised $3 million in a Series A funding round from NB Ventures and Indian Angel Network. Now, funds will be used to expand its business and strengthen its research and development. Well, moving on to our second segment, I have with me someone who has raised quite a lot of money at this point in time. I have with me uh, Har Simarveer Singh from Pristine Care. Thank you very much for being a part of the Daily Dispatch. I want to begin by asking you about your $53 million uh, fundraise from Tiger Global and other investors. Uh, you know, it comes at a very crucial time when the healthcare space uh, is seeing a lot of prominence. So, you know, tell us a little bit about this fundraise and, you know, what this fund is going to be utilized for. Right. Uh, thank you for having me, Priya. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, quite a pleasure. You know, uh, so uh, uh, today uh, health and health tech uh, is becoming a flavor and everybody is talking about it. But uh, we are still a very young company. We started like about two and a half years ago. Uh, at that point of time, everybody said, hey, you know, uh, you guys are health. Health takes a lot of time. It's very governed. It's regulated. And we said, hey, you know, our job is to make sure we do the best uh, at what we want to do and then leave it everything else to execution, right? So essentially we are a surgery provider. And what it means is, uh, you know, we are a team of doctors, uh, we are 200 plus expert surgeons across 30 cities, and we do surgeries, like really hardcore, operationally heavy business. So we do everything from cataract, to, uh, you know, ENT, to gynecology, to anorectal, to stones, to varicose veins, all kinds of surgeries. I think we were, we have been super focused on ensuring that this surgery journey of a patient uh, is super smooth. You know, we don't we don't sell a phone, we don't sell a laptop. All we actually do is surgeries. So I think for us, it has been super critical from day one to make sure that the customer experience or the patient experience in our case is pivotal. And everything we've been doing in the last two and a half years has been to improve that. And so is this this funding. You know, today Pristine does close to four thousand odd surgeries a month. Uh, and I think Tiger and some of the other players have seen the impact of technology, seen the impact of, you know, first principle thinking, consumer internet principles of keeping patient experience ahead of everything else. And I think they have been super uh, enthusiastic about uh, supporting us in the journey. And we are very thrilled to be able to do that. Well, you know, at this point in time, a couple of months have been in terms of growth, because at this point in time, the focus has been pandemic it's been on getting cured from uh you know critical uh covid kind of care so uh, when it comes to surgeries do you think people have been postponing surgeries what has been your experience on the platform absolutely so i think you know uh, you know first of all uh, you know a lot of people actually end up confusing us with the platform we are a full stack provider so if you come to pristine we will do your surgery the surgeon in pristine we run 100 clinics we own the most advanced uh, medical technology, every surgery which Pristine does is most advanced. Uh, you know, we have the most advanced insurance clearance. We do 30 minute remote insurance clearance, right? So there's a lot of advantages for smoothening out the journey for a patient. Now, you know, if you actually go by stats in India, every month nearly 5 million patients are going to undergo a surgery. And I'm actually not even talking about 
cardiacs and kidney transplants of the world. These are the regular surgeries, the piles, the fissures, the ENTs of the world. That's 5 million. Now, because of the lockdown, of course, there is fear. Of course, there is hospital capacity. Of course, government has been also supporting to delay it as much as possible. But even then, some of the surgeries cannot be, uh, you know, uh, delay somebody who's let's say suffering from a blood loss he cannot delay surgery somebody who's been suffering extreme discomfort and pain cannot delay surgery so there are these semi uh, emergency surgeries which keeps up uh, you know going around and given the fact that we are such a large population even that number is huge uh, when covid came in uh, last year in feb we were doing very well uh, nearly doubling in every month but as like every other operation every business we have bent like this but then we started recovering in September. We were at our pre-COVID levels in September. And by March of this year, uh, we have more than doubled up uh, from our pre-COVID level last year. So as, as a business, as a company, as number of patients, we are, you know, Christine uh, has served half a million patients till date. So I think that number has been growing. Of course, new situations are coming in. Uh, COVID is uh, becoming very prominent again. So there are challenges uh, and we are, uh, you know, uh, gearing up to uh, take care of them. Uh, you know, I wanted to understand with the with regards to the minimally invasive procedures. I believe that you are looking at expanding that uh, on on in terms of offering more procedures as well online. So, uh, wanted to understand what is the kind of expansion of the diversification plan out there. Right. I think uh, you know, uh, as a like I said, we are a full stack provider, but we are digital first. That means patients can reach out to us digitally far more easier than they can reach out to any other healthcare institution in India. Also, the way we have been able to build processes, any patient who reaches out to Pristine is uh, you know, given a very uh, 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 personalized care coordinator who guides the patient throughout the journey. So even before that patient has actually met the doctor, uh, he, uh, he understands what is his disease, what is his anatomy, what is the reason he's suffering, how will he recover? What's going to be the process? So there's this care coordinator which will help this patient like a buddy throughout this journey. So when people actually reach out to us, uh, you know, online or through various other platforms, everybody gets a care provider. So that, that's how people reach out to us. When we started, we were specializing in only one field uh, nearly two and a half years ago, which was a bit of anorectal. Today, Pristine is doing expansion in three kind of areas, right? One is geographical. We have just launched five more cities. So we are now there in 30 cities. So seven metros, uh, you know, all the seven metros and then tier two, tier three towns such as Patna, Lucknow, Bhubaneswar, Coimbatore, Chandigarh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Vizag, Ahmedabad, Surat. So we're going to be there in all these towns. We're already present there. Today, 30% of Pristine's business is actually outside the larger metros. So we are super, uh, you know, focused in providing the same quality of care in metro as against in, uh, let's say, tertiary town. So the expertise of a doctor in Bombay and Bhubaneswar, the medical technology in Bombay and in Bhubaneswar, the insurance support in Bombay and in Bhubaneswar, the care coordination, the expertise on the ground, the logistics, everything is high quality. So I think that's been a focus on Pristine and I think that remains a pivotal point as we expand. So expanding geography, but making sure the quality of care doesn't go down. The second thing is we've been also expanding in categories. Uh, like I said, we started with one, but today we, we launched Cataract or Octal as a business. Now we are there in six cities with Octal. It is one of the fastest growing businesses in Pristine. We launched Aesthetics uh, a few months ago, which is now growing very, very strong. It's actually one of the fastest growing categories in Pristine. Uh, we are building on urology, so kidney stone, prostrate, circumcision. We are very strong in general surgery. We are deepening our uh, you know expertise there. So everything from anorectal, hernia, gallbladders of the world. We are also over uh, investing in gynecology. Gynecology is one of the largest, uh, you, you know, challenges or uh, concerns for population out there. One of our co-founder is an expert gynecologist anyway. So I think we have an, a way more affinity to that field. So I think we are investing a lot of it. But I think for us, uh, Sneha, it's, all, uh, it's always been, uh, you know, uh, one of, somebody asked me that uh, you are raising capital. What are you going to do with it? I think we were lucky enough to actually able to identify in our minds what Christine wants to do for the next 20 years, not even three years. For the next 20 years, we want to make sure that every patient who comes to Christine for a surgery, and we are very, very focused on surgeries, has the most smoother experience. So every expansion, every investment is done in that angle. You know, making sure the patient gets is able to reach out to Christine 
most easily so very high uh, investment technology we have 100 member engineering team so very very focused on technology the care coordination when he reaches out to us the care support team they should be super trained to handle every kind of question the doctors we run 100 clinics you want to make sure every doctor is very comfortable in his physical space today 30% of pristine consults for surgery actually happen online you know patients talk to a doctor online from the comfort of their home you know given covid that becomes a huge advantage and then they come to the surgery on the, you or to the hospital on the day of the surgery they will meet the doctor in the morning for a mandatory physical examination and then go for a surgery later in the day that reduces the number of visits for a patient from you know probably 6 or 7 to just one now how do we make sure we are able to do that at scale in 30 cities you know uh, 200 times a day that's the uh, focus similarly insurance today if you want to get your insurance done uh, you know even approved it will take you one day and you have to submit your documents physically at the hospital at pristine you can do it remotely submit documents on online and in 30 minutes pristine can tell you in our 30 cities in our 1000 plus hospitals where can you actually undergo surgery and where will it be covered and pristine does the surgery itself so we control the medical technology and then we control you know every patient is given a free follow up so i think the expansion is geography it's going deeper in our big categories investing in slightly new categories and making sure every bit of a patient touch point is improved drastically but as an offering we are super focused uh, on building on our surgery care and very very uh, in and about it uh, you know with this kind of aggressive expansion that you've planned of course you've received funds from tiger global and other investors what is your road map as far as revenue and profitability is concerned for fy22 right you know uh, unlike most other uh, startups pristine uh, was fortunate to be unit economic positive day one uh, you know this is my fourth startup uh, uh, i spent some time in the us came back in 2010 from 2010 to 2015 started three companies all of them uh, completely failed uh, your story never ever wrote about any of them that tells you we were never able to get anywhere but fundamentally i think the challenge which i realized was that uh, you know we were not able to build a product which added value to anyone and i think when we started pristine that was ha- that has been a very strong focus so you know we the way we define unit economics is the money you spend in acquiring a patient the money spent in direct cost the money you spent in servicing the patients uh, in your medical equipments in your you know utilizing hospital spaces and your rents so we have been unit economic positive from day one what that allows us it allows us to focus on going deeper in patient experience and our expertise so while pristine's burn rate is not massive every month the amount of capital which we have raised allows us to actually you know uh, even even if we don't raise money for the next two and a half years pristine doesn't go anywhere so i think our burn rate is super manageable in terms of profitability like i said since we are unit economic positive for us profitability is if we stop investing in new categories if we stop expanding in new geographies we were we were nearly uh, unit uh, you know profit ebitda pro, uh, profitable in march if we remove every other expansion spread we are actually ebitda positive today so i think that's been a uh, expertise in our business model which is super strong and i think as we look forward to 2022 the focus is going to be similar make sure our bottom line doesn't go away make sure our unit economics is super solid make sure every month you know if we don't include our expansion and further investment spends we are positive i think if we are able to do that we don't be solid as a business and i think we don't see a change in there and i think the outlook remains the same for 2022 all right and that note many thanks for joining us today and thank you for the wonderful insights thank you for being a part of the daily discussion thank you so much priya and thanks for having me Well, time now to say goodbye. Many thanks for joining us on this edition of the Daily Dispatch. I'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Goodbye and stay safe.